NBA playoffs have been absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at some of the best moments so far. All right, starting it off, John Moran. Hey! Man down! Best poster so far. Never go for a charge on John Morant. This man, Luca, at halftime had the same amount of points as the Phoenix Suns. And look Are what he says. At halftime, you had as many points as the Suns. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Bro, Luca's just laughing at them. Just watch Kyle Lowry on this clip. Mance is trying so hard to draw this foul. What are you doing? That's not a basketball play. Like an upset 12 year old. This is one of my favorite moments. Devin Booker ending the half, hits the tough shot and daffs up the little man. That was so dope. One of my favorite moments so far. After Jimmy Butler and the Heat beat the Sixers, he said this. The Sixers used to have Jimmy Butler. The Sixers definitely didn't make the right choice, bro. Jimmy Butler in the playoffs literally becomes a top five player every time. Nothing hurts worse than this. Dallas is up three to two. Bogdanovich gets it, pump face, wide open three for the win. Misses it. Missed the opportunity for a game seven. I know he's hurting so bad. He probably been thinking about that to this day. All right, here we go. Golden State up 3-1. Curry running around everywhere. People trying to follow him. Very hard man to keep track of. With the layup, then look at the celebration. Man's putting them to sleep. Night, night. Jose Alvarado has very sneaky steals. See, Chris Paul's like, nah. I see you, boy. I'm the freaking point guard. And then later in the series, he does it again, and it actually works this time. Bro, he's so sneaky. He literally, like, trying not to be seen. Like, it's so fire. I respect it. Milwaukee was up two with four seconds left. Marcus Smart had one free throw left, so he has to miss it for them to have a chance to win. Gets the perfect miss. They get the rebound. Miss it. Get another attempt. Miss it. Another attempt. Miss it. Fam, that hurts. They had three tries at that. Everything went perfectly, except for the ball going in. I actually have never seen this before, but this is how Jokic was surprised with his MVP trophy in Serbia. Jokic just came in on the horse. <laughs> this is what he's doing in the off season. This is the NBA's MVP right here. Hey, gets the MVP trophy. I feel like he's the only one in this like general area that plays basketball too. That's fire. You love to see it. So random. <laughs> Andrew Wiggins driving in. Hey! With two hands, poster with Brandon Clark. Chris Paul is known as one of the master baiters of the league. He baits this foul call so hard. Brunson has the ball. Chris Paul grabs his arm and somehow gets a foul call. What are you doing, Chris Paul? Like, that's not basketball. I don't know what the refs saw there. They have a tough job. Like, players be doing the absolute most to get foul calls. Three and a half seconds left. Golden State is up by one. John Morant turns on the Jets, goes in for the layup, and misses it. Dude, that was great defense by the Warriors. Klay Thompson had a perfect switch onto him. But that was actually such, like, a fire play call as well. Haiti just playing around. Gets a one-legged three-pointer. If you're Marcus Smart, like all you can do is just be like, damn. That's literally what he said. Damn. <laughs> Playoffs were going on, and then all of a sudden, Patrick Beverly got on and just started talking crazy. Oh, man, ain't nobody worried about Chris Paul when he played Phoenix Suns. Nobody in the NBA. But what did I just say, though? And I'm just letting you know how NBA players feel and I, think. I, be I believe you, but what I'm saying he's is... He's finessed the game to a point where he's he, he gets all the petty calls, all the swipe throughs at the end. He can't guard. He literally can't guard. He can't guard. Bro, this fan Patrick Beverly is a cone. <laughs> I personally have some beef with Patrick Beverly. Not gonna lie. Back in 2016, I had an opportunity to go to the Clippers Media Day and play against my favorite player at the time, Blake Griffin in 2K. It's finally the moment. Me and Blake are sitting down. Blake is hella cool. I'm cheesing. About to start the game. All of a sudden. Patrick Beverly comes in out of nowhere. He's like, hey, let me see that. Grabs the controller out of my hand and Blake's like, what, what are you doing? And then Patrick Beverly played the entire game of 2K. Yeah, I didn't end up playing Blake. <laughs> I just watched him play Patrick Beverly. James Harden on the wing, takes the jump shot, falls over. Embiid gets the rebound, falls over. That's not gonna work. Luka on JaVale McGee, what do you think is gonna happen right now? Do you think Luka is gonna hit a step back three pointer? Do you think JaVale McGee is gonna get his ankles broken? Or do you think JaVale McGee is gonna steal the ball and go in for the dunk? Oh, gets the steal. Who thought that was coming? JaVale McGee all the way. Move, Brunson. That's a big man coming down. We wanna talk about a godly defender. Let's talk about the man Drew Holiday in the clutch. Gets. The steal for the win. He went crazy on defense in that series. Even though they lost, Drew Holiday was locking up. Marcus Smart goes in, 
tough floater over three people. And then look at the celebration with him and Jalen Brown. Yes, sir. Dialed in. Even Jalen Brown got to see that. That's the magic hand right there. Uh, how much does it cost if I uh, say something and comment about the ref? Is it 20,000? It's a lot of money. <laughs> so, I should not do it. I will do it. I save my money better pay for diapers. <laughs> Giannis is a smart man. He you say something about the rest, it's divine. Milwaukee was beaten down on Boston so bad that Brad Stevens was seen leaving at the fourth quarter. Seven minutes left. He was like, I got a dip. This is why Jokic is the MVP. So he sees the formation they're in and he knows they're doing an alley-oop play. He's telling his teammates like, yo, I know this. Alley-oop play is incoming. Let's see it. Yep, they tried it. Jokic knew. Before the Warriors versus Dallas matchup, both coaches were asked about each other, Steve Kerr and Jason Kidd. This is what they said. What do you remember about facing Jason Kidd? I didn't guard him, <laughs> thankfully. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest thing I remember about Jason was just the overwhelming speed and force that he played with in transition, even after made baskets, he'd come barreling down. Putting a lot of respect on his name. Steve oh, Kerr nice. talked a little bit today about facing you back in the day in, in his playing days. Do you remember facing him at all? Yeah, I remember facing Steve. Yeah, Michael Jordan. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jordan. That's probably the most memorable thing. How do you guard this man, Seth Curry? Homie is being double teamed, drives in, finds Draymond. Draymond throws a perfect pass. That was beautiful. Like, Draymond passed it, he wasn't even there yet. <laughs> that was a fire pass. So this rookie drives in, Herbert Jones, he misses the layup, ball into the floor. Chris Paul goes to help him up, and he's just like, nah, man, I don't want your help up. He wants CJ's help up. Right here, Rudy Gobert is lost. Dinwiddie goes down the middle. Hey! Feel bad for Gobert. His teammates kind of set him up. He was not ready for that one. This poster dunk kind of came out of nowhere. Gary Payton Jr. just elevates with the left. That is a tough finish. Steph Curry is warming up. Little Euro step. High trick shot. It's going to bounce in. It's about to look so sick. And then this man, Clay Thompson, just ruins it. We in overtime right now. It's a one point game. Embiid, top of the key. Posting up. Little 360 spin move. Fade. That was beautiful. His post game. Wow. Giannis gets the ball. Probably the most terrifying sight on a fast break. Gets it. And then hits the shimmy hard. <laughs> what an aggressive shimmy. Imagine defending a fast break with Giannis coming down at you. That'd be the scariest thing ever. Jokic, one of the best passers ever. Crazy behind the back pass. And then it leads to the turnover. Being the two-way player that you are, you know, on both ends. When you... <laughs> when you hey, Steph is hype. Someone called him a two-way player. Never really heard anyone talk about Steph Curry's defense before. <laughs> Look, uh, you, you know you're one of my favorite players. Teach me how to say great job in your language, please, brother. Uh, zelo dobro. Zelo babado, brother. Zelo babado. I'll okay. teach you the bad words later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Two other videos are popping up. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.